All right, so I've got a little tool that I made. I lost the last one I used. Uh, but this is what I use. I don't like using the flywheel locks. I've heard bad things about them, and I really don't want to break, crack my block, especially after doing this amount of stuff to it. That would really suck. Um, but, so right now I've got two of the same size studs coming out with some uh, nuts on there, nut washers. Uh, but we're going to torque this thing up. Uh, heard a lot of different stories on what the torque is. Um, 235 is one, one start that I've seen. And let's see. 300 is what this book calls out. Uh, Volkswagen air cooled. So I don't know. I'm still trying to decide. I'm going to do a little bit more research, but the final torque I'm probably going to do uh, 275 to 280. But to start, just to get the in play um, set up, I'm going to do 250. Another way you can do it too is if you have a foot bar and you're able to put 300 pounds down, like if you weigh 300 pounds and you push 300 pounds down and your toes are lifting off the ground, uh, that would be a way to accomplish your 300 foot pounds. Good grief. That's going to be fun to get back off. All right, uh, now we're going to take off our nuts. All right, I've got to set it up. I'm going to move you guys so uh, you can see it. But this is Magnet Base Harbor Freight with a digital dial indicator. Uh, got it set to where it's preloaded a little bit. It's not moving. Everything's good to go. I'm going to move you. Alright, so I got you set up now. To where you can see it. it's going to be upside down, but we're looking for three to five thousandths. Three to five thousandths. That's it. Very, very minimal. One thing too, if you if you've got play, go ahead and pull that thing all the way back, zero it out, all right, it's zero, and then push it forward towards the the uh, case. So you can see we got forty six point five. So we're gonna go through, and I'm gonna take these shims um, and measure them out to where I get forty five uh, minus three, so about forty two. 42 thousandths worth of thickness on these shims. I've always been told to use three. Um, and then again, on the final assembly, make sure you lube the crap out of these things. I wouldn't use an assembly lube like this. This guy right here is pretty sticky. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna use this motor assembly grease. Uh, it's not, not super st sticky. But all right, I'm gonna take this sucker back off. I'm gonna reverse my tool, put my wood over here and take it off and then we'll start back up and see. All right, so I've got my three shims. Um, about 40,000 depending upon how freaking hard I push on this thing. I'm saying 41.5 or 41, 4 and 15,000. Um, so we'll go with this. I'm gonna go ahead and lube them up just to kind of get a better you know more accurate you know not to say the lube's going to really add anything but heck it could um for sure all right i've got all my shims uh lubed up on all three or all sides of each one of them i'm gonna pull them up hey something else too uh for mine specifically I'm, i can't remember if, or the four pin flywheel is keyed as well the a pin for mine is definitely key because it's all balanced so mark those suckers you know where it's supposed to be at on the flywheel before you take it off all right i'm gonna put the sucker back on and then uh once i get everything hooked up i'll 
turn the camera back on. So, unfortunately, I mean, if I want to be correct with this stuff, it's, you know, I need to add uh, two thousandths, really, to make sure that I'm in limitations, because it's right at 665. So, all right. Uh, but I got to take it back off anyways, because we got to put the uh, O-ring in there and the freaking seal. So, it is what it is. So, whatever. I'll kind of get a combination to add um, two thousandths. And we'll put it back on and check it again. But I'll probably end up putting that seal on there anyways. But that's risky, because um, if it's not right, then I'll have to take the seal back out, which I don't have another one. So, all right, I'm going to take this thing back off. All right, I've adjusted, <coughs> adjusted my shims, re-lubed them. Now i got my seal here. Um, I'm going to lube the inner part of it very gently, tap it in, and then I'm going to lube the out, outside of it, uh, basically where the flywheel is going to be pushing it. They have tools out there, but I don't have it, so I'm just going to gently do it what I got gently it's not a silly one to jack up especially when you only got one alright so I've got everything Looped up, got a little excess there, but it's fine. Where it's some different people say different things. The book I've got that I've been showing you, it says, you know, it's fine if it um, goes in, I'll, you know, flush the case. J Bugs is saying to not have a flush with the case. I'm going to go flush with the case. So. Keep tapping on that thing until it goes in. I'm not going to bore you. All right. I've got it pretty much flush for the case. I mean, it's it's coming out just a hair, but it's even. Um, I'm gonna throw some lube on that as well. Gotta help lube it up before you know everything starts flowing in the engine. Put my flywheel back on. I'm not going to bore you with that again. And now I'm just going to double check my in play, which if it's off bad enough, which it shouldn't be, um, I'd have to take this sucker back out to get my washers out. So that would be a bad day. But, all right. One more thing. I almost forgot. Make sure you put your uh, O-ring inside here. Uh, I've already lubed it up with some oil and put it in there. Make sure you do that before you stick that flywall in there for the final time. All right. Before I forget, uh, clean off the threads uh, and then put a, a bead of uh, Loctite on there before you tighten this thing down. Again, I'm going to do 250 and then crank it down just a little bit more. Um, minimum, I would say 235. But All right. I've got my shit torqued. Um, it's a little over 250 foot-pounds. I put Loctite on it beforehand. Seals in there, the O-rings in there. Uh, now to finish up, I'm gonna put some assembly lube on the bearings inside of a gland nut. Uh, just kind of again help it lube it up while it's uh, getting everything together on the first start. 
but I don't imagine you could put too much in there, but I don't think you need to get crazy with it. But there you go. There you have it. If you got any questions, uh, comment, you know, if you like it, uh, click the like button and uh, subscribe. Thanks, guys.